Funny Bunny Finds a Dinosaur Friend by C.J. Smith. Funny Bunny was walking through the park when he happened upon something strange. Oh my, what do we have here? He had never seen anything like it, so he wondered what it could be. Maybe it's a really big tree. Hmm, doesn't smell like a tree. Funny Bunny was still unsure of what it could be, so he continued to inspect the giant blue blob. I know, it's a big blue mountain. Hey, there aren't any mountains in Funny Bunny Forest. As he started to move in for a closer look, something strange began to happen. Oh no, it's moving! Suddenly, the giant blue blob shifted. It hovered over Funny Bunny and was about to squash him. He was toast. But then, it didn't. Phew, he missed me. That was really close, too close. And the giant blue blob was gone. It had disappeared. Hey, where'd he go? Little fella, where are you? But then it came back. <coughs> Not again! The giant blue blob started laughing. He was just playing a joke on Funny Bunny. Will you stop doing that? What are you anyway? The giant blue blob spoke. I'm a dinosaur. Funny Bunny was excited. I found a dinosaur. I found a dinosaur. But then a question popped into his head. What's a dinosaur? I'm a really big reptile, like a crocodile or a turtle. Cool, I like reptiles. Let's be friends. Want to play a game? Sure do. I love making new friends and I love to play. When Funny Bunny turned around, the dinosaur had once again disappeared. Funny Bunny was confused. Where does he keep disappearing to? He called out to the dinosaur. Hey, where are you? The dinosaur did not answer and Funny Bunny couldn't find him anywhere. So he began to get upset. That's it, I'm going home. But then, the dinosaur popped back out and scared Funny Bunny. When Funny Bunny realized it was just the dinosaur scaring him again, oh boy. He wondered what he had just gotten himself into. Strawberry Trees, another Funny Bunny story by C.J. Smith. I like the smell of strawberry trees that sway in the wind in Strawberry Field. I like the pretty colors, the bright pretty colors that cover the trees in Strawberry Field. I like the trees. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this entire book about strawberry trees? Hey you, the one reading this book. What are these strawberry trees you keep reading about? I've been around a long time and this is the first I've heard of strawberry trees. Seems kind of suspicious if you ask me. Are they magical flying strawberry trees? No. Are they singing strawberry trees? No? Then what is so special about these trees and why should I stick around in this book? I like the smell of strawberry trees. This is so boring. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm getting out of this crazy book. Funny Bunny was fed up with hearing about strawberry trees, so he decided it was time to leave and find another book in which to live. Funny Bunny thought being in a different book was great, until...
Funny Bunny ran as fast as he could to get away from the lions. He leapt into another book. Get me out of here! It was a long way down and he landed with a crash. Oh no! Nice snaky snakies! And off he ran to another book. This book is crazy! Into another book he went, but when he landed... Help me! I was almost a goner! Off again! I don't think this is the book for me. Maybe the next book will work out better. Hello? Anyone there? Ah, all alone. Wow. Funny Bunny once again tried a different book. Nope, not this one either. What was that? I want to go home! Funny Bunny had had enough. That's it. I'm going back to my own book. So he returned home. I like the smell of strawberry trees that sway in the wind in Strawberry Field. I love these trees. He found that he loved those trees after all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.